So what's up guys, today you're going to learn how to set up a simple but solid um, light setup for an interior render of a car. Uh, I haven't talked about cars for quite some time and I actually never talked about anything interior related so I thought it's definitely time for that. So we'll stop wasting your time and let's jump right into the video. So we're inside Blender, I got a standard Supra here, you've seen it before. So in render mode, I have zero lights, no skylight, just nothing, blackness, darkness. So first we're just going to create a camera. Just a basic standard camera. I'm gonna place it right behind the front seats. And then I will set the camera to a focal length of 18 millimeters and then just tweak, tweak, tweak. Many months later. So I'm done tweaking. I like this camera, it looks good to me. So we're gonna keep this. So in render mode, I'm gonna enable my denoiser real quick. You don't have to do this. Now I'm gonna bump up the sky to a strength of 10. Uh, go to color management, bump up exposure to 5.5. So now we've pretty much got a finished render. You could render this if you want, but I'll get go one step further. I'm gonna add a sphere real quick. Um, make sure the sphere has the same location as your camera. I'm using the 3D cursor for this. Scale it up around the car like it would for a dome or whatever. Now I'm gonna add a texture on an emission shader. So I'm just gonna call the material backdrop, add an emission shader, now add a texture. I just use the standard texture from HR Haven, doesn't really matter, but it has to be a rectangular, otherwise the mapping won't fit. So now I will disable or hide the windshield real quick so I can actually look out the window. Now I'm just gonna rotate the background till it looks nice. Uh, this looks nice to me, it doesn't really matter in this case. So now I'm just gonna change the visibility to z nothing except camera and also change the exposure of our backdrop, so 0.1. So now it's really only a backdrop and isn't part of the rendering really. I'm gonna change the contrast to medium contrast and then we're gonna render. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So this is the final render, uh, I hope you like it. I did a super quick uh, simple color grade in Photoshop so I added a tiny bit of clarity, a tiny bit a tiny bit of texture, nothing crazy here. And also keep in mind, this is just a super solid basic light setup and a real light setup wouldn't be done like this. This is just so you get a good good understanding of how to just get a solid light setup quick. Uh, but if you would do a real interior marketing rendering, you would use something called light painting. So in 3D, it's not called light painting, but the technique is light painting. And basically what you do is have multiple light setups. You light every single part and basically stack up all of these images in Photoshop and start painting in the different lights. Also, you would render out a normal pass and start uh, lighting corners by hand in Photoshop. So that would be the actual way to do it. Uh, but still, I thought it would be cool to just give you a quick, um, an easy way to do it and maybe in, in a future video I, I'll talk about the actual way on how to do it and actually this light painting is also a technique you most commonly use for exteriors as well where you light separate parts so a topic I still haven't talked about for some reason I keep pushing it off so I think it's time uh, very soon so that's it uh, and yeah see you next I thought last video I'm gonna see you next week I guess it just took one day for the next video but this time I think it's actually next week so bye guys mm -hmm.